Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the basement, the, the friendliest, friendliest place on YouTube. YouTube. Last time we went entered Mount Moon, and this time we're in Mount Moon and fighting dudes. Last, last don't sneak up on last me. Last time, which may have been a week ago if you're watching these as they come out, or may have been uh, moments ago, ago if you're watching the playlist altogether, we promised to say something about Toys R Us. Was Ooh, that yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, you said something about. <gasps> Do you remember the Toys R Us song? Um, hang on. Toys are us. We are Toys are us, kids. <laughs> Close. Did they say Toys are us, kids? Yeah. Oh, wow. How did I remember that? Um. Uh, yeah, don't use any poison attacks on him. Although I don't think any of these attacks are really going to be great. So just use. We'll try absorb. <clears throat> I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's a million toys for girls and boys and every kind of kid. <laughs> they rhymed they kid, with kid, kid yeah. with kid? With Come bikes on. and trains to video games. It's the biggest toy store there is. I don't want to grow up because if I did, I wouldn't be a Toys R Us kid. Did. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be a Toys R Us did. Don't want to grow up. Don't want to grow up. I want to be a Toys R Us kid. I Do -do -do. think, I think, um, did my absorb work? Song it did, it, I mean, it hurt him a little bit. His name is Grimer? Yeah. Do you know who Frank Grimes is? I've heard the name. Oh, wait. Walking Dead? No. <laughs> Rick, Rick. <laughs> Close, but way off. <laughs> Super Nerd. Oh, well, no. three, see, we got three Pokeballs for fighting that guy. His name was Super Nerd? Super Nerd Joven. His type of guy that he is is Super Nerd. Wow. But, um, we're gonna, we're gonna keep fighting dudes because it makes us stronger. Uh, so I've what got doesn't a, kill you makes you stronger, I've except got, for polio. I've got a sad admission for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever doesn't kill you makes you as weak as a kitten. <laughs> um, I grew up and I'm no longer a Toys R Us kid. Oh, that's so sad. A manky. <laughs> Hanky manky. What are we in the <laughs> land of chimpanzees? Okay, Beck. Okay, okay, Beck. Hey. Who, who is watching this right now has seen the show called Beck Mongolian Chop Squad? Not I. I don't know if you'd like it. I mean, Beck Mongolian I don't, Chop Squad. Is I, it a cooking show? No. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't think you would like it, Peter. I, I just mean, dropped acid. You don't on that manky. <laughs> <laughs> That was psychedelic. <laughs> uh, Far out, man. <laughs> you used acid on Mankey, and now he <laughs> sees weird things. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, Paul. Can I get a Paul? Yeah, get it. Oh, I have to pick it up, I guess. Ooh, an ether. What's that? It uh, restores. So you know how like each move has a certain amount of times you can use it? Oh, yeah. Uh, like it's sort a Paul. of like magic power. Yes. Um, MP. If oh, is that what MP stands for? Can I fight this guy? Well, that's what MP stands for in most games. In this case, in this game, <laughs> know, it's not kidding. called that. But I'm quitting. Uh, I get it. Um, ooh, we'll fight her too. That's why Secret of Evermore was cool because you had ingredients. Right. Different alchemy ingredients for different spells. I really liked that too. That was a cool system. We should play that game. Oh wait, we already we did. We should. I should play it in Sunday Night. Oh, wait, I already did. Hey, you know what I was thinking, Peter? Hmm. Uh, we no. need to record a 30,000 subscriber thank you special. <laughs> oh. Wait, ask me that question again. You know what I was thinking, Peter? I think so, Ted, but where are we going to find a, <laughs> a manky and a pair of rubber trousers at this time of night? <laughs> no, Pinky. Try to take, take over, over the, the world. world. Why, why? Great show. Yeah, we need to do a, a 30,000... Wait, this I, video may come out after our 30,000 special. It, it might, because we do have a camera here tonight, and we're probably <laughs> going to make one. Um, well, belated thank you to 30,000 yes, people. Yes, you guys are amazing. 30,000 subscribers, so crazy. And it only took us three and a half years. Wow. Results not... About 95% in the last... <gasps> James. <coughs> oh. Oh. So, what I was going to say about the Toys R Us kid thing is, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I remember the very ending of it, but I, you know how, like, over time, those slogan songs, those jingles get truncated? Yeah. 
I think I only experienced the truncated version. Mm. Gotta be a Toys R Us kid. But and that was all that I ever heard of it. Yeah. Because they, they just throw at the end of the commercial. Because that's a part that, it, like, you remember if you hear the whole thing. Right. But there's always, like, <gasps> Ooh, cool. That is a fat, adorable something. Yeah. Is that a, an armadillo? It's a sand shrew. Oh. Um, now, he's gonna not be susceptible to any of my light, uh, electric moves. Like, don't even affect him like they can't even hurt him at all poison the powder but but a double kick is a what? fighter move and that should kind of hurt him so we'll see if it's super effective it doesn't say it was just normal hey you avoided my poison yeah Why? These ground ground type pokemon are immune to a lot of stuff wait so does that mean he'll do that every time i try that maybe i don't know try it again no well if i don't then i feel like oh Oh, yeah, your grass moves will be good against him because he's a ground type. Well, you gotta tell me this stuff. Somebody linked us to, like, the full table of here's what to use on this kind and that kind. Oh, yeah, I need to that restudy kind. that. And someone also left us a comment saying, go, after you something something, go talk to the person you already talked to because they have a funny reaction. Oh. Is that helpful? <laughs> no. I don't remember <laughs> anything that you just said. Do you know who I mean? <laughs> nope. <laughs> hey, who's this? Ooh. Is this guy's name Paul? Talk to this doof. Whoa, Ugh. you surprised me. Oh, you're just a kid. No, I'm a squid. <laughs> or are you also a kid? Hey, speaking of things that rhyme, did you write a... Uh, this is this will also date the episode. Did you write a poem for the person who successfully guessed my time in the race across Hyrule? I didn't, but Did you see that? To... Somebody got it to the second. That is incredible is yeah. what that is. The logical pianist. Wow, logical. Yeah. Pianist. Art articulate. Oh, yeah. Use your grass absorb power. Sleep power? No. Absorb. Oh, absorb. Yep. Because he's he's a ground, he's a rock type, so any grass move is going to really hurt him. Yeah. So if there's one thing rocks hate, it's being in the grass. Greatly increases Chikapu's evasiveness. <laughs> um, Whoa. Yeah, it's super effective. It's just, super effective. Boom. You just healed your Oddish all the way up to full. Whoa. Whoa. Um, so guess what I got to do today? I got to film something super adorable. I think I might have mentioned this in the last episode of this, but I didn't actually say what it was. Ex please I, excuse my wife using the sink. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was shooting, uh, like a commercial thing for... How come you have four? I have four and you have three. I'm sorry to totally interrupt, but that confuses know. me every time. I don't know. Uh, no, don't use acid. You keep using the grass thing. Oh, right, because it's that guy. Again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you uh, got to shoot a commercial thing. Yeah, it's just it was like a short little. It's like a, it's a bookend that's gonna go on the front and end of uh, it's a commercial companies. For a bookend? No, of a company's <laughs> social media advertisements. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. And it's like an apparel company. Uh huh. And their mascot is a lion, and they wanted to have like something that was like a lion. I was like, I can't film a lion. I don't, I, don't, I don't have access to that. Right. So we found a lady who has these just adorable golden retrievers. Why did we just get a Dark Souls remastered pop up? I don't know. Um, oh. Uh, adorable golden retrievers and we bought one of those lion mane things uh, that go on the dog. Right. Right. And I got to film No. I got to film the dogs. Can we take this ladder somewhere? Pretending to be a... Uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, we found a pearl. Well, let's fight this guy first. Did we already fight this guy? Heh, I see you have plenty of paws. If you ever run low, come talk to me, okay? Okay! That's cool. You just so keep standing in the corner of a dank cave, Danky Kang. <laughs> it's Aww. a Danky Manky. I remember Danky Kang. I really want to find our... Meow! <gasps> That's right! Is he gonna talk? Oh, he should that would really be talk, awesome. Because Meowth talks in the show. I like Meowth. Meowth is one of those rare Pokemon that actually can speak English. Listen, if I get a tasty snack, you know what I'm gonna do? What? Put it in my Meowth. <laughs> <laughs> that was so dumb. That was dumb. Love it. Uh. Okay, careful, don't hit that Joe dude. Can can I even? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Okay, well, there yeah, we go. Yeah, no, you can't. <laughs> um, can't, he can. 
Yeah, uh, see. So I can... One of my favorite Futurama Scrap lines. Hey, Chubbs. Is uh, Bender is talking to Fry and he's like, I'm perfect, right, Fry? <laughs> and Fry says, Yeah, no, you're pretty perfect. <laughs> 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 One of my favorite Futurama lines I only know from you is uh, they download every bit of human knowledge or something, and it's like, 11 minus 4 equals oh, 7. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Sa save on mattresses at B Al's Mattress Shop. <laughs> Whatever you're it so is. so close, yes. I know exactly <laughs> what line you're talking about. It's the brains. That's pretty funny, that... <laughs> <laughs> 11 is greater than 4. <laughs> There's are downloading every bit of, of knowledge. Those. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> 11 greater than 4 beavers mate for life. <laughs> for quality carpets, visit Kaplan's Carpet Warehouse. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> quality carpet. Hey, I put him to sleep. Look at him. Good job. Look, he looks like he's gone. He's His fingers are practicing. He's playing Fur Elise. Frowzy. Excuse me. Jeez. Fear Elise caused you to have a death rattle. Uh, Elise is <laughs> a news flash. Elise is long dead. That's not a Paris. We don't need another one of those. So, you, part we're we're Paul. trying to collect them all. We're trying to catch all the Pokemon. Well, we gotta catch them. So, all. anytime we see a new Pokemon, we're gonna go for it and try to get it. But I don't really know what we already have. We're gonna avoid a lot of Pokemon that we've already caught, just because there's not really a super large reason to catch Her everything. Hair. Does anyone else have that hair? Like uh, in the anime world, is that like super common, or is it super unique to her? Yeah, it's pretty unique. Why is it not more common? I think it's like remarkably cool. <laughs> oh, that Zubat just jumped out of nowhere. <laughs> we were phasing in and out of each other there. <laughs> oh, okay. And two, yeah, yeah. four. <laughs> wow. You only counted to four. That's why I messed up. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Oh, we missed. Oh, okay. oh, oh I missed. <laughs> Good job, Peter. <laughs> hey, at least our Wario impression was synchronized. All right, when I go, you oh. go. Okay, perfect. I'll so just watch close. You. Ready? Yeah. He ran away? Did we already have one? Yeah, we do. Oh. We just accidentally ran into him, so we had to fight well, him. Well, who, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? What's up with this chick? Revive. She's wearing an R. Team R. Team rob you of your Pokemon. What were they actually called again? Rocket. Team, Team Rocket. Rocket. I love this whole like, it's a rocket battle. <laughs> the R blasts off at the speed of light. That'd be a good thumbnail. Well, she looks sassy. Is she a hairstylist on the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes to protest things. <laughs> I'm gonna thundershock this Zubat, and he's not even gonna be able to hit him. I saw a picture today of somebody encouraging people to resist capitalism, and they were taking a picture of themselves with an iPhone <laughs> <laughs> while they were doing it. <laughs> and I was like, good job. That supports <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> Whether you're pro capitalism or not, you have to appreciate the inconsistency in the message. <laughs> Hey. I like how she like tousled her own hair. Even Ooh. though she didn't have any to tousle. Yeah, she sort of flipped it. Generic <laughs> female gesture. <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine! Okay, super dork. Whoa, they're both yours? Come on, share, brah. Yeah, two is enough to share. Did oh, you bring he looks enough? so evil. Super nerd, Miguel. So, the show that I was talking about, Beck, Mongolian and Chop Squad. It's a pretty good throw for a I'm going to tell nerd. you about it for just a second. Yeah, do it. This time in the basement. So, it's an anime show, which is why I'm pretty sure you wouldn't like it. Um, is it amazing? I liked it a lot. But it just, it... it is it, it animated? Yes, it is animated, but it's an anime. Like a... Like, you know, a sh an animated show that derived from a manga from Japan. Um, but <laughs> Do any of the characters anyway. animate for life? No. Oh. It's mate for life. Where can we get quality um, carpets? 
Anyway, it catalogs <laughs> the story of this young kid uh, in like, he's like a preteen. Okay. Like a, becoming an like old preteen. Yeah. So like, he's a tween. Yeah, yeah. He's a tween. Or is he he's like becoming a teenager, and he's kind of like growing into like becoming, Ooh, you know, gosh, level like a coming of age sort of like story. But sure. the thing is, it, it he listens to like pop music, like K-pop music. Okay. And then one day he finds out that that's not cool, and so he starts listening to like Rage Against the Machine and stuff. Does K stand for Korean? Yes. Oh. And maybe it's J-pop that he's listening to, but anyway. <laughs> uh starts listening to Raging Machine and starts learning guitar and stuff. Ooh. And like, as a, as a guitarist and a musician who like learned, there's like, there's one sequence in the show where he's learning how to play bomb track. You know, and you hear him going, like, it's like, you see his house, it's kind of like an establishing shot, it's his house, and you're like, <laughs> and it's like the little Clank. like messing up and like the strings are buzzing and stuff. Yeah. And then it like, and then it just shows him and he's, he's looking at his fingertips. He's going, ah, oh, and it like zooms in on his fingertips. He's got the lines and the oh, tips. Oh, dude. You know, just like, yeah, that moment I was like, I love this show because yeah. I know that feeling. Yeah. I, and when you're a kid and you're just like, you're learning this thing and yeah. it's getting better and, but your fingertips <laughs> hurt so bad. Right. You're finally, you feel like you're getting some momentum, but you're like, physically, my hand is just sore. Yeah. I, I cannot. Final each take a fossil. It's no good being, being greedy, greedy, right? Okay. Ugh. So we so need we to pick to a fossil, fossil, and then we need to end this episode. So uh, the one on the one on the le- right. The one left. on the right or the left? Left never f- never so leaves us. Later behind. on, we're gonna be able to turn these fossil this fossil that we choose into a Pokemon. All right, I'm gonna let you choose. Uh, you choose okay. how we pick. The fossil. The dome fossil or the helix fossil? Mm. What do you want, a dome or a helix? I like syllables, so I'm going to lean toward helix, but ultimately I leave the choice in your I wanted the helix, hands. too. Okay. I can't remember which one the dome turns into or the helix turns into. One of them turns into a Kabuto, and the other one turns into an Ammonite, and I'm pretty... Oh, so I do remember. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and now I remember exactly what they... Ah, uh, next time in the basement! Ooh! Next time in the we? basement, we're gonna I don't see. Think we can... Stop pressing the button. You pressed a button. I know, but we can't save. But we're gonna record another one. Oh, okay, cool. Next time in the basement, we'll fight these guys. Woohoo! Until next time, basement dwellers, we think that you are more difficult to talk into the right plan than. Lord, that band <laughs> with that weird lady from Australia. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, I don't know. In <laughs> the basement. In the rough. <laughs> in the basement. <laughs>